Hello, I'm John Leach and I'm going to give you a bit of a demo of the, the new low balancing service uh, we've just launched on the Brightbox cloud. Um, so a load balancer takes connections and distributes them between back-end servers, so we need some back-end servers first of all. Um, I'm going to create a couple of web servers. I've got a script here that will install Nginx and uh, start it and set up a little uh, text file that we can uh, we can use to differentiate the servers from each other. Um, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the user data system to uh, run that on boot. So call this web one. We'll put it in zone A. We'll put the user data file. And I'll use the Ubuntu Lucid image. So that's that created, and I'll create another one. I'll call it Web2. Put it in Zone B. Okay, so we should have two servers creating now. They'll be ready in about 20 30 seconds. Um, I'm going to create a cloud IP so I can uh, I can get to them from the outside world. servers have been built yet. I'm still creating. We'll go with the, um, uh, there we go, we've got the first one built there. Um, we'll go with the uh, scenario of uh, you've built a web app um, and you know it's, it's not, it's only a couple of friends using it at the moment so we'll map um, we'll map this cloud IP onto that server. If I uh, hit the IP now I guess Nginx hasn't quite started just yet. There, there we are. Yes. There we are. <laughs> my, my user data script's only just executed. I was a bit too bit too quick there. Um, so you can see every time it's the one server. So we've got two servers, they're both active. One of them's got a, a, the cloud IP map to it. Um, uh, anyway, so a little web, web app, uh, you know how these things start, you tell someone something and they tell two friends and they tell two friends and they tell their friends and so on and so on. And before you know it, you need a load balancer and multiple backend servers. So, in this case, we're going to create a load balancer to solve this problem. The create syntax is quite complex as there are quite a lot of options, but the defaults are pretty useful, uh, especially in this case where the defaults are going to load balance port 80 and port 443 for us and do a, a HTTP type health check which is exactly what we need for a web cluster so we'll create a new load balancer, we'll call it my LB1 um, we'll leave all the listeners and things default and we want it to balance to these two servers seconds but instead of keeping you waiting we'll just do a quick edit here um, a seamless transition to save time okay we've time traveled now and our load balancer is built um, so if you remember we've got a server with a cloud IP map to it when we're connecting to it we can see that it's the, that's the server we're hitting what I'm going to do now is map or unmap that's what the U do, minus U does unmap that cloud IP actually I need to know what the cloud IP ID is first. I'm going to unmap the cloud IP from the server and map it onto the load balancer. So, uh, load balancer, that's the one. Oh yeah, cloud IP first. Don't even know how to use my own tools. Okay, so that's remapped instantaneously. So now the IP is pointing at the um, load balancer and not the uh, that single server. So we now should round robin between the two because they've got equal load currently, which is not. So yeah, that's the that's the easy part. Um, there's lots more configuration options which we will explore here, but we can definitely see the uh, health check in uh, in in action. Say a um, a clumsy sysadmin logs onto one of these servers. Accidentally stops Nginx. Now the health checks every, I think every couple of seconds by default, um, and after two or three of those, it will be taken out of the pool. So 
we'll have some slight delays on the first couple of requests until the uh, load balancer detects. There you go, and you can see now it's instantaneous. The server that we've stopped in Genex on has been pulled out of the pool. And, that, and the uh, load balancer is just not sending requests to it. Uh, then other sysadmin comes along and finds that Genex isn't running and starts it. should see the uh, load balancer detect that shortly and start balancing the connections between the both. Again, this is configurable, you can increase, uh, you can make this happen a lot sooner or take longer before a server is taken out. And there we are. So that gives you a bit of an introduction. Um, if you want to know more, if you haven't got a beta account, you can go to beta.brightbox.com slash beta. You can sign up and start playing with this.